the most straightforward way to analyze a sequence for transcription factor binding sites in the genomatic software suite is MatInspector. The MatInspector algorithm is the basis for all genomatics programs that search for transcription factor binding site matches. While you can analyze several sequences in one go, MatInspector considers each of them separately. Apart from summary match statistics, MatInspector does not perform any comparative analysis. The presence of an isolated binding site match alone is not sufficient to predict any regulatory function. To supplement this information, the MatInspector output provides additional supporting lines of evidence from the literature. Matches to known CIS regulatory modules, as well as co-citation and expert-created information on functional relationships of the target gene with relevant transcription factors. As an example, we will analyze the promoters of the human IL-10 gene. Interleukin-10 is a regulatory cytokine which plays a role in inflammation and immunoregulation. You can start MatInspector from a pattern search and analysis menu. In MatInspector, you can directly upload one or more sequences for analysis. If you want to analyze annotated promoters of a gene, you can also just enter the gene identifier, for example the gene symbol, and let the system retrieve the promoters for you. I will use the latter option here. In the gene search field, I enter IL-10, and a selection list is displayed from which I choose the human IL-10 gene and press the Continue button. The next page gives you a list of the annotated promoters for IL-10. You can select and deselect them here for the analysis. For this example, I leave both selected and continue. We will search for all matrices in the core promoter and vertebrate groups and let the system show us additional lines of evidence for binding site matches. The binding side matches in the two promoters are shown in a graph as colored shapes on the plus and minus strand. Binding side matches frequently overlap. Red arrows denote the transcription start sites of annotated transcripts. For each promoter, a sorted list of matches is displayed. The first columns show the binding side family symbol and description and the binding site matrix representing the family at this position. Matches are sorted by position within the sequence. The matrix similarity is a measure for the similarity of the sequence at this position to the matching binding site matrix. Additional lines of evidence for functionality of a binding site are shown in this column. You can filter the list by typing text in filter fields and pressing the return key. To filter for matches with additional lines of evidence originating from a model match, Enter, for example, model in the corresponding filter field and press return. Six binding site matches are also part of a model match. In some cases, only one element of the model is displayed by Matt Inspector. For example, the CEBP site at position 115, which is part of a CEBP stat model. The corresponding stat site is not shown. The reason for this is that in model descriptions, the similarity threshold for a binding site can be below the optimized matrix similarity. As the MAT inspector search was done with default optimized values, it does not report any existing suboptimal matches. In contrast, the IRFF and STAT matches at position 353 and 417 are both part of the same model match. These matches are also both supported by co-citation and functional evidence. Follow a link to the corresponding transcription factor in the evidence field to display the citation supporting the functional relationship. So much for a short introduction to MatInspector. Thanks for listening and don't forget to watch the other tutorials on this site.